Greetings, greetings, and welcome to a Wednesday episode of Vagrams Chance Season 3. I am sorry that there have not been episodes on Monday, and this is not really an episode. This is kind of a news update on the status of things. Basically, um, on I actually need to look real quick at a calendar. I think it was the morning of June 17th. We started having some really, Friday, June 17th, we started having some really radical performance problems on the server. Suddenly, CPU was, would ramp up dramatically. Your CPU usage would go up and up and up and up and up and up. And memory usage, what's called the heap, would get maxed out, and the entire system would basically spiral, crash, and restart. And initially, this problem, when it started up, it would take six hours to develop, six or eight hours. Um, over the course of the next day or two, it shortened down to about four hours and then to about two hours. Now, we don't know what's going on, but basically, the server has been kind of ill. People have been stepping on and recording when they get an opportunity to in the good bits. But right now, like if I do C of H, yes. Um, we look all the way up here. Overworld, TPS of 12.4, 83 millisecond response time. That's super bad. That is super bad, and we don't know what's causing it. Uh, so I basically have had to pull out some profiling, some, some diagnostic software tools, some Java profilers and stuff like this, and get as much data as I can collect, and I have some experts looking at it. Now, those experts have to be some, happen to be some of the greatest minds that exist within Forgecraft. Some of the mod devs in there have been gracious enough to look at the data that I've been collecting to try and help me figure out what's going on. But as it stands right now, um, the server goes through long bouts of unrecordability, and uh, I, I do not have a solution for that. If you notice right here, one of the things that they noticed was that the uh, our server had a lot of LPE, logistics pipes, objects. So what I had to do was basically disconnect all of the work that I actually did interfacing um, the LP system with Ender IO so I could do remote connections all over the base. It turns out that I, I, I don't think that has actually helped. Disconnecting this has not helped to, to improve performance at all. Um, it didn't change anything, unfortunately. Um, I disconnected all of the remote terminals. So, I mean, right now, I technically don't have an LP system. I have no way. See, this is not connected to anything. Yeah, I'm right here. Thank you. Um, it's not connected to anything right now. And as you can see from my inventory, it's a complete mess. I took apart all the remote connections, all of the actual ter request terminals, all of the uh, stuff over in the tech tower, like the thing that automatically fed seeds into the um, crushers and squeezers and whatever, whatever's. Um, all those have been disconnected. Um... This was feeding sulfur into that, auto disconnected. Uh, water system, disconnected. Automatically pulling the water from the bottom, disconnected. Auto crafting of um, stuff and things, and, uh, uh, biofuel, disconnected. Uh, yeah, it is across the board uh, shut down. And uh, I, it's going to have to remain that way until we can figure out what's causing it. Now, um, I could probably hook all that stuff back up because basically it has not improved the server's performance at all. Um, we're still figuring out what's going on, but I wanted to put this quick episode out. It's going to be short. It's going to be like five minutes because I need to basically get back to following what the people investigating this data are discovering. Uh, but I'm hoping you understand what's going on. I hope you know that this is, it, it, we are going to find a solution to this. This is not the end of the series. We still have a lot more to do in this world, but uh, it's just going to take some time to figure this out and figure out what's going on and then implement the solution. I have not heard of anybody out there running a server for Big Game's Chance Season 3 is running across this problem. I don't know. If you are running across this problem, please let me know via Twitter if you have similar symptoms or if you're running a server for it on Twitter and uh, it's fine and it's behaving. Let me know and let me know what version of the pack you're using. I would really like to know these details. We need to collect as much information as possible. And uh, that's the only real way we're gonna get down to the uh, crux of this problem. So I'm gonna get back to um, trying to follow the experts and see what they're doing. And I will um, hopefully 
we can find a solution and get a normal episode out by Friday. But there's a distinct possibility that Friday might not see an episode, and we might not see an episode until I can get the problem solved. Uh, hopefully that's sooner, not later, but I will let you know. Um, stay strong. I, I really could use some, you know, support right now on, hey, we want to see this series continue. Hey, we want to make sure this gets solved. I really could use some words of encouragement on this because this gets me really nervous. My first season, my first series of Vagram's Chance died an early death because of mysterious mod pack bugs that a whole bunch of mod developers couldn't even figure out. And uh, every time stuff like this crops up, I get real itchy and I get really nervous and I really don't want it to happen again. I really don't want it to become a curse, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to catch you folks later. I am sorry for the short episode, but hopefully you'll understand. Bye-bye.